Welcome to another Blueprint IoT video and today we will do an experiment about PWM. So our setting right here is we have a function generator in the back generating a PWM signal. We have the scope which is basically showing us the output of the function generator so you can see it in a big screen here. The scope is just connected to the outputs of the function generator. Right here we have a light bulb so this is directly connected to the output of the function generator. Right now our settings are half a hertz as a frequency, 10 volts as a maximum output and zero volt offset. Since we're on the PWM mode, the signal starts at zero and goes right up to 10 volts max. Our duty cycle is at 50% right now. One period is two seconds. Of course, our frequency is 0.5 hertz. Since we have a duty cycle of 50%, we have a one second on time and a one second off time, which results in a blinking light. What we're going to do right now is we will increase the frequency since a higher frequency is better for a PWM because you don't want to have your light blinking. You want to dim it. You want to increase or decrease the brightness of the light and you don't want to have a blinking light in your room. So let's increase the frequency. We're going up to one, about one Hertz. So it's blinking faster, but still at 50% duty cycle. So now it's half a second on, half a second off. Let's double this once more to two hertz. Now we have a quarter of a second on, quarter of a second off. You can see at the scope that our period time is getting smaller and smaller. I will just change the scope settings so we can see it better. Now we have one period time in the scope roughly. Now we increase the frequency furthermore, three hertz, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we can still see the light blinking. We go up to nine and 10 Hertz. So since this video is a 60 frames per second video, we will quickly reach the frequency where the video cannot longer represent this blinking. So I will go further up to 20 and 30 Hertz. At 20 Hertz, you can barely see a blinking with your eye at 30 Hertz. You can't see it properly at all. So what we can see on the scope that it's super fast now and but if we zoom in you can see that it's still 50% off and 50% on. So this duty cycle of 50% is still there but it's not blinking anymore. So we just increased the frequency which made the blinking faster than the camera and faster than your eye. So that's basically all the magic about a PWM. You just increase the frequency this high that you cannot see anymore the on and off time. What we do next is we will increase the duty cycle. So at the moment we are at 50% and I will go up from 50 to 80%. You will be able to see this increase here. So the off time will shrink and the on time will max out. And you will also see it here at the light, it will be brighter and brighter. So keep an eye on the scope and at light at the same time. Now we're at 60%, 70% and 80% and let's go to even 90%. So I hope you can see it in the video that the light was getting brighter. To do the counter experiment, we go down to 10%. So let's again check the scope and the light. So now you can barely see any light. I will turn off the lights completely, but there is no light visible. I will go up with the duty cycle again to 20%. You can literally see a little, little light. And now we go up to 30% and the brightness comes up again. 40%, 50%, 70%, 80 90 90%. And let's go to 100% or 99% or we can do here and we have the maximum brightness. But let's try the LED. I just swapped the orientation of the voltage for the LED. That's the only thing we have to take care of. Again, we start with a 50% duty cycle. We're starting at 2 Hertz at the moment and at 4 volts max because the LED needs a lower voltage as the normal light bulb. Once more, we will increase the frequency. We go up to 2 three, four, five hertz, and it's getting faster and faster. Seven, eight, nine, ten hertz, already super fast. 
I will turn the light completely off to make it more visible. So we go even higher, 11, 12, and we will go up all the way to 20 hertz. Still kind of visible. You go further up to 30 hertz. And now it's really barely visible. Why it's longer visible at the LED compared to the normal light bulb is that the LED cuts off the light more strictly. Since the LED is a diode, there's the breakover voltage and as soon as we dive below this value, the current will be just interrupted very straightly. On the other hand, the light bulb will just glow a little bit more, a few milliseconds longer than the LED. So the light bulb is really glowing until the last millisecond where the current is flowing and even after this, it will kind of afterburn a bit and then start right again. So this light bulb will make it a bit smoother while the, while the LED needs a bit of a higher frequency. So with my eye, I can still barely see it. So I go up to 40 Hertz now. And now I really cannot see anything anymore. And now I will go to 50 Hertz. And even with a lot of imagination, I can't see any blinking anymore. But let's increase the duty cycle. Currently we are at 50% and now we will increase up to 80 or 90%, 60, 70, 80 and 90%. Let's, let's adjust the scope a bit so we can see it a bit better. Just have to catch the signal with the trigger again. So there it is. We are at 90% right now and now we will go down to 10%. So you can see it in the scope and you can see how the light is slowly dying. You have 7% right now. Please be aware that the flickering you can see right now is only in cause of the frame limitation of the camera. 1% and we can barely, barely see it. I will make it a bit more dark and you can see that the LED is still there. And from what I can see, the video is still seeing a little flicker but it's still quite smooth or even for this low light intensity because it's 50 hertz so the brightness is really only about the duty cycle and the frequency only about up and down time and how fast this is happening and if you can see a blinking or not so let's go back to the light bulb so i turned the lights on again by the way this light here the white light at the background is dimmable so probably it's exactly the same what's happening there. It's a PWM increasing or decreasing the duty cycle. So once more, we learned the difference between duty cycle and frequency. So the duty cycle will increase and decrease the brightness because our frequency is fast enough, is high enough that we cannot longer see the up and down time of the signal. We cannot longer see the light turning on and off because it's that fast our eye and the camera cannot longer catch it. So that's all for the experiment. In case you're interested, what's about the duty cycle and all the stuff, check out our video about PWM, where we talk about all the basics and the theoretical understanding of the PWM. Otherwise, make sure to be subscribed for more content like this and content around IoT. Thanks for watching and see you next time.